All right, you guys. I'm going to show you a little bit around this nice little jewel. I have not been in here yet. However, I am about to go in, so it's all going to be new to me as well. So, let's see what we've got here. Ugh. Right in here. Very cool. This is the front door, but it doesn't look like it's going to open. The handle's gone, so I will come in through here. As you can see, the floorboards are out. So it's a little bit of a mystery, but we are going to go in and wish me luck. It's going to be very interesting. This was a couple. They came, whew, they came from Cincinnati and they decided they wanted to live in the country. They came with family and they farmed. The man farmed. Um, his name was Ed. I can tell you his first name. And he lived out his life here. This is so neat. And his wife, Claire, I'm sure she loved it. You can still see the, the wallpaper, the print of the wallpaper. And this must have been their chairs. Goodness, can you imagine just wanting to leave and leave behind your furniture? The old loft right there. Wow, this is so neat. This, so you got your front door, then you have another door that was here. So you had two so far. The carpeting is still here and it's just over plain wood. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that what those long metal bars are but anyway look at how it's just deteriorating up in there let's see coming in here and there's more furniture there's not a lot to see look at the old light there if i can get up close to show you lots of deterioration of time the roof is leaking. I don't know if there's an upstairs. If there were, you would think that you would have saw stairs by now. Um, but this is just probably a bedroom, I'm assuming. I don't know. But anyway, they said when he lived here, he was very sick a lot of the time. And well, let's see what we got. Look at this old latch on the door. Neat, huh? Alright. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, there's lots of deterioration. And this is just so neat. I just want to show you. This is going to make for some good pictures, you guys. Look at that. We came at just... Oh, look at that light. We came at just the right time of day. And this, there used to be a stove right here because there's a hole in the ceiling. So the wood stove would have been right there. And let's see here. So obviously this must have been the kitchen, right? Oh, look at here. Cool. Let's open this up. An old fuse box. And this must have been where they hung their coats. And who knew that it would help to put, look at that, from yarn over your nails so it would protect your clothing, I would assume. See, I learned something new today. Um, there's old jeans there, old clothing. Old clothing here. Look at the old sink. That is so neat. Look at that where they got the water. The pump was inside, obviously. I know, right? I'm a sharp. I learned quick. Oh my. I'm trying to walk slow because I don't know what this house is like. Like I can see where the floors are gone. If you can see right there. All right, the back door, gone. And here's the kitchen shelving. Wow, 
it's so neat. Look at the look at the wallpaper. Is that cool or what? Let me see if I can get a closer view of it for you. Neat. Okay, so we're gonna walk through here. Hopefully the floor holds up. Um, here's somebody took out the. Sorry, a bug in my face. They took out the fuse. The fuse. I think that's for the fuses. Yes. So they took out, yeah, who knows why people do things like that. They took the fuses out there from the fuse panel. So obviously, all right, people come in here and look at the old glass. Nice. Old jars. And I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to get closer. Let's see. Um, it's hard telling. There's a piece of paper up here. I'm afraid to move it. Let's see. Thermo humostat. Doesn't see anything on it. Here's an old cupboard. Nothing's in it. It's empty. That's about it. Pretty nifty. Okay. I'm going to cut this for a moment and come right back. Okay, and look at that. The yellow countertops. Goodness. Oh, look, there's a nest right up there in the corner. Can you see? Whoops, I'm trying to get it, but <laughs> I'm failing. Okay, look at the ceiling. Everything's peeling off. Another one of those unusual lights. And that was where the stove was, and it was right next to the sink. I'm just gonna make great pictures, you guys. And I'll just show you a little bit out the back door. You can look at the, it's spring and the flowers are blooming. A bunch of decay where it's rotting away down there. Okay, we're gonna walk through here. Oof, the floor is moving, so I'm a little apprehensive. Oh, a lot of old clothing. This must have been a porch that has fallen down, piece of roofing, like it must have been a, a roofed in porch, an outbuilding. There's two of them. Okay, we're gonna, there's lots of metal in here. I don't know what it all is. How sad. There's odd. There's looks like there was shelving here, maybe. Old shoes. No, really old jar. see a lot here. I'm gonna, oh, from an old pump. Shoo, stinks. Okay, I'm trying to look here and there's an old outbuilding right out this back door right here. There's two of them as you can see, if you can see beyond there. I'm gonna go out back, I'll show you. It must be this I'm smelling. It's the attic, there's this stench just in this area. And here's another coat hook. And they used to lock the door from the top. That's odd. 
This is a, must have been, this must have been like a room where they kept their kitchen goods is what it looks like. There's some old shoes. A jack, sure. Okay, I'm not seeing much else here. All right. A mystery here I'm thinking someone said there was a door to a cellar but that's all caved in so I'm thinking the cellar must have been right there where you see the grounds rotted through and you see there's boards that have fallen in right back there because this is the back porch and I'm stretching in between this fallen overhang and I don't see anything So if there's a cellar, I'll start, I'll end the video and then I'll start it again. But I'm going to go outside and look around, okay? And see if I can figure out some more of what's around in here. But that's absolutely it. How sad. So this is literally, uh, you had your living room your bedroom and your kitchen and that is absolutely it a little storage area back there man we're so spoiled now it's hard to believe what we're used to and accustomed to well back then you were lucky if you had a house to live in man how cool Okay, so I'm going to step out here and kind of look around and get some pictures. So this would be the receiving area where people would come in. And this, I'm sure, certain, pretty certain, this is their bedroom. And this must have been their front living room. And that is it. That's all that I see. So you're seeing it as I see it. And I'm going to go outside and poke around a little bit and see what I come up with. If I, what's this? Oh, look at the door. Look how the door has that window at the top. Isn't that neat? The flowers are all blooming. Amazing. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. This is Corinne Wood, your sister of decay for the day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and looking around this beautiful old farmhouse with me. I've really enjoyed it and I'm so glad that you could come. And I'm going to have a bunch of pictures following this. You can bet on it. Again, thanks, and I will add on if I find the cellar, if there is one, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.